here we have a prism and the prism has a trapezium shaped cross section so the cross section is this part here so that is a trapezium now the first part says work out the area of the trapezium now you're given the formula for the area of a trapezium in the front of the exam paper so what we do is we add the parallel sides together and then multiply by, height, by the height and divide by two so the area of the trapezium in this case the parallel sides are the 11 and we're going to add the 7 to that I prefer to do it like this so I'm going to divide those by 2 and then I multiply by the perpendicular distance between them well that's the 10 so if we do 11 plus 7 that's 18 18 divided by 2 times 10 well that's just the same as 9 multiplied by 10 which is 90 square centimeters okay the second part of the question here asks you to find the volume of the prism and again in the front of your exam paper you've got the formula here the volume of a prism is equal to the area of the cross section well that's the part on the end this part multiplied by the length now in this case the area of cross section is the area of the trapezium that we've just worked out and we're going to multiply it by the length which is 12 so the area of the trapezium from part a was 90 all i need to do to find the volume of the prism then is do 90 multiplied by this length which is 12 and if we do 90 times 12 we get 1080 centimeters cubed and that's the volume of the prism